Hello, I'm still recovering, by the way, so you're just gonna keep up with me sounding like a dead crow. Now let's go. Alright, after you drew your three shapes and you lit them in a way you've seen fit, I now will introduce you to a kind of shadow that you will almost always encounter while drawing basically anything. You may have already read it in the title. It's ambient occlusion. It's quite scientific, but I'll try to explain it in a way that a small brainer like myself would understand so you don't need to stress your brains too much. You may have read this term in some video game settings while adjusting your graphics. And for the ones that played around with that setting, you probably noticed that when turned off everything looks a little flat. That is because ambient occlusion is the shadow that occurs when two surfaces are near each other. The surfaces that face each other or are in very close proximity to the other objects are darker in value than when they are not. And now comes the scientific part, because that comes from the way that we see light. Because when we see an object, we see the light that bounces off its surface. And if this object is in close proximity to another object, some of the light gets lost while bouncing off the surfaces multiple times. So if you've wondered, yes, it is always like that. Light always loses a little bit of its energy when bouncing off a surface. There are just surfaces that let the light keep more energy and surfaces that take away more energy from the light. Anyway, now we know that we need to shade surfaces in proximity and why, but that's not all. We also need to ever so slightly shade surfaces that do not face directly towards the light source. The reason behind it is because light always bounces in multiple directions when it hits a surface and the most part goes straight away from it. Obviously those rays directly reflected are the strongest ones. The scattering light will always be a little bit darker, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. What really makes us shade surfaces that do not directly face the light source a little darker is the angle from where the light hits the surface. The closer the light rays hit a surface at a 90 degree angle, the more energy the bounce light in all directions has. That's the light our eyes pick up when seeing an object that isn't the light source itself. Now, that was one scientific drawing lesson. I hope I could explain it in an understandable manner and I'll see you tomorrow and happy drawing.